One of the most important things you can do in life is assess why you feel the way you feel about various situations. Whether something gives you anxiety, makes you happy, makes you angry, makes you horny, doesn't matter. Assessing your feelings in a logical and honest way will allow you to grow as a person, that's just how that works. When you understand what makes you tick, you understand yourself better, it builds confidence, it allows you to grow. Think along the lines of that old saying. The first step to fixing a problem is admitting you have one. And last night while I was streaming Modern Warfare, I sort of got frustrated. You guys watched the stream, I had to sort of cut it after an hour because my eyes were frankly bigger than my stomach. I had just finished a Modern Warfare 2 campaign stream and I was sort of tired but I wanted to keep pushing forward and I was just fatigued and it wasn't gonna happen, you know, I wasn't gonna get anything done. So just there I assessed my own limitations. Once I start feeling that sort of drained and fatigued way, I get tired of being in front of a light and a camera, I need to just stop streaming because otherwise the stream will get worse because I'll get a little bit more frustrated, a little bit more tilted, and I'm not going to be able to compete in Modern Warfare, especially with how sweaty Modern Warfare is as a game. Really any competitive shooter when I feel that way is a bad idea. I had a peak of 80 viewers in both of those streams, you guys donated, you guys made me laugh, we had fun, I really enjoyed those, those streams, despite the fact that the last one sort of ended with me going, I can't do this, and, and sort of just closing it down. But here's the thing. Later that evening, I started assessing what made me frustrated and what sort of triggers that anxiety in me, that, that frustration, that tiltedness in me when I'm streaming COD or any competitive game. And the same words kept popping into my head. It's expectations. I feel judged by you guys when you guys are watching me, even though last night when I had a bit of a fit and I was like, guys, I can't do this, I have to go, I am tired, I can't aim. You guys were super supportive in the chat. Even Nemsk, a fellow YouTuber, was like, hey man, we all have bad games, you do you, go you know, go rest. And you guys were super nice to me. And I, that really stuck with me, like it wasn't like, yeah, you suck noob, get lost, you know? I realized I didn't have Wings of Redemption's fan base. I was like, wait a second, they understand. So why am I judging myself so harshly? Because in the back of my head, it's like, don't camp, don't camp on stream. You know, and I try to fight that and then I camp too much, because it's like, I, you know, I don't need to worry about that. And then I'm like, well, maybe I'm overcompensating for that concern, and well, what do they think of my gameplay? And am I playing at the top of my game or not? And am I doing as best as I can? How's my attitude? What's my face doing? And I'm just freaking out a little bit. Especially now that you guys have been donating and coming in droves. Like, I used to have like 15 to 20, maybe 30 stream viewers, and now I'm getting like close to 80. And the other night I had like 125 people watching me. You know, I don't know what to do with that. When someone comes in and gives me $3 and says, hey, Keep up the good work, it's like, oh god, I need to keep up the good work. But hopefully, from my experience with this, I can speak into your life a little bit. Perhaps you have an expectation of yourself in your head. You know how good you can be at an FPS game, you know how good your aim can be, you know how fast you can be and aggressive you can be, you know that, it, really, if it came down to it, you could make a team rage quit. But it's not happening. Because life is chaos, and you can't predict everything. But because you have this expectation for yourself, maybe you don't slow down your playstyle. Maybe you don't change your weapon or attachments. You don't adapt to the situation. You just keep running your head against the wall. And the reason I say this is because when I'm streaming, it's like, I don't want to camp. I don't want to sit in one spot and hold cover even though I'm not winning my gunfights, my enemies are more aggressive than me, and I really should just wait for them. You know, I should take a defensive playstyle, I should definitely do that, I won't do that. Because I'm worried about how that looks, or if, it's, if that's a newbie tactic, what if switching to the M4 is a crutch? And I do it on stream anyway, but then it makes me nervous about what people think while I'm doing it. And it gets to a point, and this is something I think everyone should learn, especially when you're younger, who gives a shit? Call of Duty is about beating your opponents. When you're in an online game, yeah, you might be trying to complete a challenge or get a camo, but that's a side goal. Really, the main goal of every game is to not get screwed. Why do you think some people avoid the tags and kill confirmed or don't hop on the B flag in domination? Do you know why? They have an expectation for their KD that they're not willing to compromise for the good of the game and for the good of their team. For me, if I'm playing with my buddies, I just let them do the OBJ, I do the slay. That's what I used to do when I used to do game battles in Call of Duty Ghosts. My friends did OBJ, I did the slay. 
That's sort of where my head goes when I'm playing with buddies. And the reason I bring that up is because life is complicated. People don't just avoid the flag because they want their KD high. Sometimes they have an ulterior motive that they believe will benefit the team more. And that's fair. But I'm not just rambling here. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm putting together. Your expectations get too high. You're worried about what people think of you. You're worried about what you think of yourself. But you know, those people that get those 70 kill gameplays, they're not playing slowly. They're not watching their corners. They're not putting claymores down behind them because they're a little nervous about their back. You know, so why would I do that? Maybe because you're different. Maybe because you're not as good as that pro player. Is there anything wrong with that? Absolutely fucking not. When it comes to managing your expectations, you have to give yourself time. Yeah, we want stuff when we want it, but that can really make us hard on ourselves in terms of personal expectations. We don't adapt to changing expectations, we judge ourselves too harshly, we don't communicate how we feel about these things to ourselves or others, we don't prepare for problems, we are resentful of them. And if it sounds like I'm reading that off the internet, it's cause I am. I wanna add some more to this topic than just my own internal monologues. But let me wrap this up by saying this. If you're having hard games, if you're doing poorly, if you are consistently doubting your performance in anything, play it to your strengths. When it comes to Call of Duty specifically, play the way you want. Don't let a YouTuber dictate what attachments are best for you. If you are comfortable with something because you like the look and the sound of it, you do consistently well with it, it builds confidence in you, then use it. If you identify with that weapon, identify with that weapon. If your enemy team is constantly beating you on 50-50 gunfights, set up an 80-20 gunfight in your favor. Head glitch a wall for a second. Mount your weapon on a corner, wait for them, put a claymore behind you. You might think, well that's just newbie, no one's gonna get better playing that way. Yeah, but nobody's gonna have fun constantly worrying about how good everybody else thinks they are. If you are attempting a tactic that other people deem to be more skillful, even if it's outside of your comfort zone and outside of your skill level, are you really going to be enjoying your video game? No. On the flip side, don't be a nihilistic asshole who thinks that because there's things that can be abused in the game, that's all you should use and sit in a corner with double claymores and dual snake shot. A really good way to put it is there are two terrible types of players. The player that camps in the same spot all game and the player that keeps walking into that player and feeding him kills. I wouldn't say go out of your way to be an asshole, but definitely don't go out of your way to play to somebody else's strengths. Play to your strengths. Modern Warfare, most Call of Duty games, they're open meta. They allow you to customize and tailor your experience to how you're comfortable playing. Take a pragmatic look at the situation around you. Honestly ask yourself, what's the best thing I can do in this situation? And then act that out. Trust your instincts, take a deep breath, and remember that at the end of the day, it's still just a game. And whether you're streaming for two people, a hundred people, or no people, listen to, and this is gonna be the weirdest thing you've heard in a COD commentary, listen to your heart, listen to your gut. Really follow your preference, play to your own strengths. It's not that difficult. I think you can do it. I know I can learn to do it. But now that I'm aware of this anxiety, I've shared it out there, now you guys are aware of my anxiety, and why I get into my own head, and what causes me to play poorly in competitive games when I'm streaming, or sometimes even just recording. I've aired my issue, I've communicated it, and now I can adjust my expectations for myself, and hopefully I can be a little bit more confident being myself. I haven't changed the way I stream, but yet I do have more viewers, consistent viewers, and so much support on my live streams. Meaning, I didn't need to change, I needed people to find me being myself. Now all I can do is improve, and that will come slowly. <laughs> but it will come. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video for whatever reason. Sorry, it's sort of rambly. That's how my more personal um, introspective topics are. It's hard for me to sort of condense it down, but I want to hear your opinions now. I want to hear your perspective. So go ahead, leave that down in the comment section and stay tuned to my live streams. Hit the bell icon. I go live several times a week now. So yeah, hope you guys are there in my next live stream. Goodbye.